Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Faith. If you didn't know, now you do. Um, today's video I have for you. <clears throat> I'm going to give you a tour. I'm going to show you my bookcase. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to show you the books I'm going to be reading or try to read this month. I was going to do a June TBR, but things happened and the day I was supposed to film it, they came up and the other day when I was trying to film it, I ended up having to do a 5 a.m. to 10.15 p.m. shift, a double shift at work because we had a call out and no one, no one else would come in. Everyone else had plans. Of course, it's a Saturday. So everyone over, if they're off on Saturday, they have plans on Saturday. So, um, I just didn't sit down and do a TBR this week. Uh, I was going to, or this month. I was going to, but it's just getting too late. It's like the middle of the month. It's like the 12th. So, um, I'm going to show you quickly what books I'm going to be trying to read this month. Um, and at the end of the month, or the beginning of next month, I will show you what I did read and uh, what I rated it, what I thought about it. Um, so, I have four books. I have... Before I Fall, Lauren Oliver. Um, this is a movie. <clears throat> I wanted to see the movie. I have not seen the movie because I wanted to read the book first. I actually went to um, Walmart and they had the book. It was like the paperback tiny one with um, the movie cover on it. I was like, you know what, I'll get it and I'll read it, this one until I can buy a prettier cover. Um, but then I, for something, for some reason, someone told me, something told me to put it down and wait to get it. So that's what I did. I ended up putting it down, didn't get it. When I was cleaning out my books from storage, and because we obviously moved, and when I got my bookshelf in a couple weeks ago after my dad finished building it, um, I went and got all my books out of storage, and this was in it. So I'm glad I didn't buy the paperback because. That was like ten dollars and I already have this one and it's a hardback with a dust jacket. So yeah, that's that story. So I'm gonna try to read before I fall. And this one I got I think from Dollar Tree. Dollar General, I don't know. It's Ten Things I Learned About Love by Sarah Butler. I'm not entirely sure what this is about. It's about a mother, she's 30, has three kids, and she's not married. Then she meets this guy, so yeah, the romance. Um, so I'm excited to try to read this one. I don't really have high hopes. And this one is called The, Mal the Mailbox by Mary Beth Whalen. I did buy this one and it was $3. I'm trying to think of, remember where I bought it from. I think it was Dollar General. Not really sure. But this book is about a girl who goes to this beach as a teenager and then she went 20, 20 years later and it's a, uh, based on a true thing. It's in North Carolina. It's a blend of rich folk folklore, faith, and the beauty of second chances. So it is a real thing. Um, and they just wrote a book based off of it. So I'm excited to try this one. And then <clears throat> I'm going to try to read those three first. I'm going to start with one and get through it. And if I don't get to this next book, then I'm perfectly fine because I've already read it like 50,000 times. Um, this series I read in high school. It was like night. 9th, 10th grade? I think it was ninth grade. Um, I read it. I read it, loved it, read all four books, and then I read all four books again, and then I read them all again, and then when the movies came out, I read them all again. Um, and it's Twilight. Yes, I am that person that has the unpopular opinion that I love Twilight, that it's the best book in the world. Um, it's one of my favorite series that I own. It's one of the favorite series, one of my favorite series that I have read. 
Um, the book or the movies, mm, not too fond of some of those. The first Twilight movie, I didn't really like it how they portrayed from the book to the movie. New Moon, it was okay. The one that I really do like is the Brick and Dawn 1 and 2. That really got the real thing from the book. But I'm going to try to read Twilight. Since I've already read this one, um, I'm not too worried about getting to it. Because I have all, time, all the time because I've already read these and I love them. I just want to reread them. Uh, and that's what I'm going to be reading this month. Um, and now I'm going to show you my bookshelf. Um, little disclosure. Um, I don't really have a system on my bookshelf. Um, as I will explain over there. I don't have like, oh, I've read this, so I'll put them all on this shelf. I need to read, these are the ones I haven't read, so I'm going to put them on this shelf. No. <clears throat> I play... I will just walk you through the system in my head. Okay, so let's go over there. Okay, so I'm going to do this vlog style. This top shelf, I do have my light on. This top shelf is, let's just backtrack a little bit. Okay, this bookshelf my dad built with his hands. Um, this backing right here is a door it's an antique door from the 1900s early like 1906 and he just built that was like the main piece and he built around it he built the sides um and he just built it and so i'll back up that way you can see what the bookshelf looks like And we'll start with this top section. These over here are just some magazines that I have, like the Rolling Stones and just some other ones that I found in storage. And this is Grace's Guidebook, and this is like my recipe book, and this is Hiking in Tennessee. And this is another like little recipe book. And these are all just books that I haven't read. Or like these two I have read. This one I have read. I haven't read this one, but this is my sister's. Um, I have read this one, but most of these I haven't read. I've read this one, but I haven't read this one. And yeah, it's my Bible. And like some little children's books that I remember reading when I was younger. The little old lady who was not afraid of anything is a really good one. And like, of course, The Night Before Christmas and such. And I did read this one. So that's that first shelf. It's just books mainly that I have not read and that I kind of want to read. Um, the second shelf is just, I have a video on how I made these on my channel. I'll link it down below. And then just some candles and then some vanilla bean oil that needs to go in here. This one it has just like an extra box cutter and some lighters for my candles because none of us smoke around here. So I keep lighters in that little basket. This I got for Christmas one year. It's just a candle and then a cute little jade candle holder. So that's that shelf. And this shelf. This is a 1776 um, log cabin syrup. It's a old syrup bottle. It's got like a little soldier. I thought it was really cool. <clears throat> and this one is a old um, beer bottle from I think Germany. Mm, Holland. Sweden. It's Sweden. And so I have that one. This doesn't go in here but it's up exfoliating scrub. <clears throat> and this I got for Christmas by my stepmom's mom and I thought it was really cute it's an antique and then I bought this off of Etsy what would Zoe Hart do um Zoe Hart it's just a cup that I don't use I just use it as decoration because it's got it's beautiful Zoe Hart is a character off of a, a TV show that's on Netflix right now 
and it's called Hearted Dixie and it's really good. I give it two thumbs up. This is a our own candle company, Buttercream Candle. Um, it's got a hundred hour burn and I still got some in it. Bought this last year or the year before last. I bought it sometime. And it smells really, really good. It still smells really, really good. Um, but I bought it at an outlet mall. And then I'm gonna sit down for these. Okay. This shelf right here has um I've read these, of course, the Twilight series. These are mainly just like the big hardbacks and like any thicker books that I have. But most of these are hardbacks or like series. Like these two or these three. They're not hardback but they're a series and they're in a box <clears throat> that's kind of my my thing my top shelf is like books that I, some of them I have read but they're like paperback and the rest of them I haven't read and I want to read most of these I've read and they're hardbacks so there's the Twilight books the beautiful creature books um, the beginning of After All, not really read that one. How to Hang a Witch, I've read that one. Um, Someday, Someday, Maybe, I have read that one. This Jojo de Moyes, I have not. This Debbie, um, Debbie Maycumber, I have read. Ellen Hopkins' Fallout, I have read. This one, I have not read by Noah Roberts. The Last Summer of Yumi, I have not read this one. Don't know, where, I don't remember where I got it from, or how old it is. Because it's missing the dust jacket. I have not read this one. This one's new. The, the end or something like that. I have not read it. But I plan to. Witches of East End. I have not read this one. Plan to. My true love gave to me. It's um, 12 stories. It's got 12 stories. Yeah. 12 holiday stories. I'm saving that to read closer to Christmas. Um, a David State. That David Spade book I just got because it's David Spade and it's gonna be funny. <laughs> I haven't really read it. Um, cut by Patricia McCormick. I read this one in high school. Uh, Remember me? I have not read this one. I think this is it's a freaking yeah. It's got three stories in it. So and then behind these I have. A few books that I didn't have room for just like there's one two three books back there um that one is by Jackie something little rich girl little something girl don't really remember um and that one back there is weddings of Vermont have I, I try to read that one it's kind of boring and that one is a Nora Roberts book and then I have these scattered on top of them. This one's Shadowland. I have not read this one, but this is the second book. I bought this at Dollar Tree, I think. It sounded really good, but it is um, the second book in the series, so I haven't read that one. Um, Five Seconds of Summer, Let's Make a Band, One Direction, Where We Are. Um, just their little books that they made. Um, I think. I got this one. My sister got this one. It's called The Day Satan Called. It's about a true encounter with demon possession and exorcism. Don't know why, but we have that. Um, no one's read it because it's going to be scary and I don't want to deal with that. Um, the Den of Shadows. Uh, this looks like it would go with that one. Remember me? I'm not really sure whose that is, where we got it, but it's there. Then I have a Lauren the Kitchen cookbook and a Pioneer Woman Dinner Time cookbook. And Crescendo is the second book in the series um, of what's the series called? The sequel to Hush Hush. So um, that's a really good book. Uh, and this one's Christmas Time with Southern Living 2012. It's got just got Christmas recipes and like different things in it. Uh, and then Edgar Allan Poe with the Complete Tales and Poems. And that's all on that shelf and on this one it's all of mostly my Nora Roberts books um 
Nora Roberts is a lady. Let me see if one of these books has her. Yeah. She is a lady. Um, she's been writing since the ni 90s or she's been writing for the since the 90s or even before the 90s. Um, I got into her it was a summer after school. I think I was a freshman. So ninth grade going to 10th grade, so it's about 14, 15. And my aunt really likes Nora Roberts. And my grandmother really likes Nora Roberts. So they had a bunch of Nora Roberts books. So I would go over there and she would give me three books at a time of like a series or something. And I would come home and stay up day, night, read all three of them in like three days. Um, and I just fell in love with her. I really like the way she writes. Um, yeah. So I do have a bunch of Nora Roberts that I've accumulated from like my grandmother, from ones that I've bought. Um, she, I will say this, the books do have a similar, like her romance books, like her other books, because she also writes as like J.D. Robb. I don't really like those because they're more thriller and suspense. Um, but I do really like her Nora Roberts, like, romance books. There's a whole, like, trilogy of, um, the McGregor. It's called the McGregors, and there's, like, 50 books in that series. There's this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. It's, she writes one book. I think this one was the one that was, started it all. And, like, years later, it has to do with her bloodline, their Irish. She writes a bunch of Irish books. Um, and I really appreciate it. Um, this one, The Next Always, The Last Boyfriend, and The Perfect Hope are all a trilogy about some sisters falling in love, have their different backgrounds. These, the McGregors all have, like, different backgrounds. Um, the key of light, the key of knowledge, and there's a key of something else. I'm missing that third book. Um, and they're, a, like, they're, the first book in the trilogy is about this girl, and she has some friends. And then, it's about the main girl getting together with her soulmate. And then the next book in the tril trilogy is that main girl in the first one it's one of her friends and that one the third one is another one of her friends so it's just like a branch of the same story like the characters same characters are still in like all three of them but it's a different point of view i guess that's what i'm trying to say midnight bayou is really good i really enjoy that one actually i really enjoy it enough that i have like three copies of it and i'm donating those the other two of oh, more gregors uh yeah, just a whole bunch. The Heart of Sea. I have, there's two more in this. I think it's The Heart of Sea. The Heart of... Something. There's like three, two more of them. And they're really, really good. But all I have is the main one right here. Um, and yeah, like all these books back here are... Nora Roberts. Nora Roberts. And most of these I have read. Some of these I have not. I, and then I have like a section of all my uh, Nicholas Sparks books right here. I have The Choice, The Last Song, Safe Haven, A Walk to Remember, The Best of Me, and I've Been in the Road. And then over here I have two copies of The Heroine Diaries. It's um, Nikki Six, The Diary of Nikki Six from like a year in his life. When it was on drugs back in the 80s, 90s, and it's really good. I really enjoyed that one. I have two books of it because the first copy I've got, I ended up having two different ones in my checkout basket, and when I checked out, it gave me two of them by accident. So then I have Sarah Dessen. I have three of her books What Happened to Goodbye, Lock and Key, and The Truth About Forever. I read some of her books in high school. I don't think I have read these three, but yeah, I have them. And that's all on my bookshelf. 
So there you have it. That was a tour of what's on my bookshelf. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, it would be at the end of the month. I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a review of the books I've read. Um, and then I'm going to do a TBR for July. We just have a, we just had a new bookstore open up in town. And I'm excited to try, go and try to see it. I actually may vlog it. Maybe. I'm wanting to go in it either today or tomorrow. I'm off these two days. So that could be daily vlog. I tried weekly vlogging. But it just didn't work out. And so I think I'm just going to do like daily. Every now and then. Like when we go do something fun I will vlog it. Instead of just like a weekly it, especially not right now until I can get used to picking it up and taking it with me so I'm gonna try to do a daily and I'm gonna try to get that whole visit and the whole shop included I'm gonna try but yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and if you um, want to come back and see more videos about books so if you want to see more videos about books hauls tours of certain things uh and such let me know um and subscribe and come back because i am going to try i think i was trying to upload on sundays now on my days off i have moved to monday and tuesday so i film on monday and put up on tuesday or sometimes monday night so it's gonna be monday or tuesday of every week um so yeah come back please um yeah so give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and come back for more fun videos um because i have a lot planned for you i have this new brownie recipe recipe i'm gonna try out and i think i might film that so yeah please subscribe and come back